In lab A, on the tube head, we have buttons that allow for movement. Vertical movement is this button. You must depress it. It's an electronic lock. It adjusts the source to image receptor distance, which is known as the SID. If we're doing something in the table bucky, the light comes on at 40 inches to assure a 40 inch SID. The next button allows for movement in any direction. It allows for vertical and side to side. For side to side movement, we must assure that the tube aligns with the bucky and you will feel when that falls into place. Then maintain your 40 inch SID. If you need to angle your tube, there is an angulation chart and you select the angle button and rotate the tube the amount that you want. This would be at 30 degrees and we'll go back to a vertical or a zero degrees. The x-ray tube can be moved from the top of the table to the foot of the table by selecting the longitudinal button. It allows for easy movement towards the head of the table or towards the foot of the table. To see where the x-ray field is, we have a light. It is manual. When you select it, the light field becomes visible on the table or on the patient or phantom. There are numbers involved for 40 inch SIDs and 72 inch SIDs. We have a small image receptor, an 8 by 10, so we are going to select 8 by 10 at 40 inches. Now we'll take the image receptor and replace it in the table bucky. You'll notice on the image receptor there's a line which marks the center of the image receptor and we'll use the line on the bucky tray to make sure that we're in alignment. Lock the image receptor in place. When the bucky tray is pushed in all the way, transversely, the image receptor and the bucky are in alignment. As you can see, there's a light, and we're not from the top of this image receptor to the bottom of the image receptor aligned. We're going to move the image receptor with the lock that's here on the side for alignment. Your other option is to move the tube using the longitudinal button right here so that you can get alignment. Now we push the bucky all the way in and we have tube image receptor alignment at 40 inches. We've placed our image receptor in the bucky tray and centered it. We have 40 inch SID and we've adjusted our collimation for our 8 by 10. Now we want to move the tabletop and take the part and align it to the film. At the bottom of the table there's a silver bar. You want to press against it with the front of your foot. It will activate the table to be free floating and we'll be able to move in all four directions the part to the center of the image receptor. Now we're going to move to the upright bucky position. We're going to use the all block, bring the tube down so that you can manipulate, turn the tube your alternative is to use the angle button. You will feel when you've reached 90 degrees. We need to align from side to side. So pull and push until it locks into place. And then using the longitudinal button, we're going to adjust 
the source image receptor distance, the SID, to 72 inches when the light illuminates. Notice we will want to change our collimators now to 8 by 10 at the 72 inch distance. You'll see the field of view on the image bucky and you can align using the crosshairs. The bucky will move up and down with an electronic release at the base on the handle. Be careful if there is an image receptor in the bucky, it may be heavy. Pull the bucky tray out to help hold the image receptor in place. Push the button in the center for this bottom tray lever to move and you'll be able to hold your image receptor in place and as you notice I don't have perfect alignment here's the center of the image receptor here's the center of the bucky tray this means you must adjust the lever and now I have alignment between the middle of the image receptor and the middle of the image tray. Push and lock. Place the image receptor all the way in. Activate the light and you will see that you now have your image receptor and your tube in alignment at 72 inches.